Hey, Jack. Hey, man. Man, it's been a busy week. I've been uh, preparing for that yard sale, that community yard sale that I'm setting oh, up for uh, yeah, the Lions yeah. Club. That's right, that's right. Take a look at this. Hey, that's a nice sign. Isn't that nice? I really like it. Uh, it's bright and big. It's going to call some attention. And uh, wow, it's got yeah, the I address like right down here. And then it's got the time here. And then this is the part that I think is really nice. It just says Saturday. Yeah, that's smarter than the average bear. I like that too. You can use those over and over again. Yep, I got 30 of them made. So every year that we're going to have this sale, we can uh, use these again and again, I hope. Sawgrass Marketplace. That's Sawgrass nice. Sawgrass Marketplace, 1505 South Calumet Road. So if any of you guys are in Indiana this weekend, check out the uh, Chesterton. Chesterton, Indiana <laughs> uh, Lions Club uh, yard sale. But uh, you just had a yard sale for your mother, right? Yeah, I did. Now, how did that go? Went pretty good, but the weather was kind of bad. But the weather? Uh, yeah. Was it rainy? No, but it was nasty, and you know, and looked like it was going to rain. Now we slowed it down. So just just you know. a little bit cloudy. Yeah, it's like if somebody makes a noise, everybody tries to stop breathing. You know the story. So that that's a big deal with the yard sale. And you it never is. you never know. You know. I, I only had one good incident. Some uh, neighbor of hers, he, he come down. He had a motorcycle. He's been trying to sell. He asked me why I tried to sell it. I sold it in 15 minutes. It was unbelievable. Hmm. And uh, for a good chunk of change. So little, even little like despite the weather, you sold something good. Oh yeah, yeah, it was a pretty good size package. So think yeah. about this. I sold about three or four hundred dollars for my mom. If if weather deters people from coming, does that mean weather bad weather is a good time to go shopping? At no, Island? no, no. It's a good time for a picker. You got less people. I like to do that. I like Thursday and Friday too. See, like, remember last week? I did good on Thursday. Remember that the big glass marble and all that crap? That actually come from Thursday picking. So you're saying good weather is good for the sellers. Bad weather is good for the buyers. Yep. All right. Same way the storage men. Cold, nasty weather. A lot of people won't show up, you know. All and, right. Uh, all I can say is that uh, things work to your benefit. Remember this. When life hands you a lemon, what do you do? Make lemonade. That's right. <laughs> now you're talking. You can't control the weather, but you Ain't can profit. Right? Hey, look. He's, he's back. got the same haircut you got. <laughs> and now he's got his rocket <laughs> ship. Hey, look. Yeah, I can't believe that. can't now, believe you picked this thing up for five bucks. This is pretty neat. It is cute. 1950s or 60s uh, Mickey Mouse. I uh, like that. Thermos. And uh, doesn't have great eBay value, but it's pretty darn cool. It goes right along with uh, your uh, carbon copy there. Yeah. Yeah. And now we know where Mickey Mouse is from. He was one of the first astronauts. I always suspected that when I was a kid. <laughs> hey, I like that idea. That sign so, is really good. So signs are real important for a yard oh, sale. Yeah. More, yeah. The more people that know it's there, the more money you're going to make. You, you remember uh, Elaine and Rich? Yes. Okay, uh, they have some very good friends. Oh, they come to that sale too at my mother's house. And uh, they he, he's a painter, but he's only painting part-time. He's lost a lot of his work, you know, he's a union guy. And uh, so we started teaching him how to have yard sales. Well, I was driving down to get some gas about two weeks ago, and there's a four by eight piece of plywood, and it says, big sale with an arrow pointing at it. Yeah. Four by eight piece of plywood. So I drove over there, and he had stuff in his yard. I couldn't believe it. So I got out and BS with him and talked to him and everything, you know. And uh, that's how he's getting by. He's buying storage units and estates. He bought an estate for, uh, I think it was like 1500 bucks, and uh, he had done like $4,100, and they were tickled pink, and they still all had all kinds of stuff. You trained them well. Yeah, well, Rich and, actually, Rich and Elaine did, Elaine did too. After me showing them, then they showed him. It's pretty cool. I like that when that happens that way. Yeah, it all works out. So any other tips for me, uh, Jack, for this uh, yard sale? I'm physically not going to be there, unfortunately, but I want to tell the guys, you know, if there's anything we can do to... Help get people there. What else can I do? Everybody be friendly and communicate with everybody real well. That's a lot to do with it, you know. Yeah. And if they see me, always give me a 50% discount. <laughs> <That's really good. laughs> I'll give you my picture. And it's all. <laughs> but uh, yard sales are fun, you know, especially a community one. Now, a it's going to be on Saturday. When should I put it in the classified ads? I'd put it in on Wednesday. Wednesday? Oh, yeah. And, and you get also it for Thursday, Friday, Saturday. I, I like to have it in ahead of time. Four days? How do they rate it here? I don't, Three days or four? I don't know. I, I can maybe do Thursday, Friday, Saturday, or Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Thursday, Friday. 
at least Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, if you can. Right, I like it in early. Okay. Because more people look at it, you know. All right, I'll call them up and see if I can get in tomorrow. If not, and, I'll and, and in the ad, I know this is terrible. What I'm going to tell you okay, right now, no, no, no. but I always did real well by doing this. I always put my phone number. It's a little busy for the three or four days, but you'll have people want to come and set up. You know, you know, actually vendors welcome. You know, people want to come set up. You have people calling about stuff. It's really neat. Oh, okay. And it's for a good cause. It's the Lions, you know. Yeah, yeah. It's the, it's all charity, so That's it's all right. good. So real good. All right, Jack. You're well, president of the Lions Club, right? I'm president this year. Oh, yeah. how will they survive? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're real. They're lucky to have you. Hey, thanks, you Jack. Fun. You bet. But uh, hopefully you'll be able to stop there and see how it's doing. I hope so. And uh, I hope so. If you do, feel free to give the guys some tips and pointers. You talk, you talk me into it. Most, mostly amateurs out there selling, so they can use all the help they can well, get. Maybe I'll just go in incognito. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Jack. Thanks a lot, man. Yeah, thank you, man. Oh, uh, one more thing. I'm not going to be at the yard sale because I'm going camping for very important thing. Four to you. days with your son. With my very my important. seven year old son. I've been on a waiting list for about two years, and it's real important that I do this. It uh, is. Completely out of touch. No internet access, no telephone, no electricity, and no water. Like a fish out of water. <laughs> so, <laughs> needless to say, we're not going to have videos for uh, for a little bit. Don't worry about it. We'll be back. Uh, I'm going to post some bulletins. Like, yeah, you, a, you, Jack, you're going to be checking the uh, Secret Society of the Pickers, absolutely, right? Absolutely, absolutely. You talked me into it. So, please don't stop posting on the, on the forum. Jack will be monitoring in my absence, but uh, the videos are going to stop for about a week, and then we'll, we'll get back on it. It's true, it's true. It'll be okay. All right, thanks a lot, guys. Take it easy. Thank you, man.